In this episode, I'm going to give you quick simple tips on how to shoot black and white portrait using natural light. Don't forget to invite your friends, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button below, and join me in my photography journey. My name is Stanley Ong. I'm a portrait photographer in the Philippines. I've been shooting portraits for more than 10 years already. So for this episode, I'm going to give you tips on how to shoot uh, portraits using natural light. Uh, there's just something about black and white portrait that makes it look timeless. Um, taking out the color uh, makes you focus more on your subject without any distraction. So here are my tips. Number one, we need to know how to control natural light. When we talk about natural light, uh, I'm talking about the sun. If we can control uh, how, how hard or how soft we want our natural light is, and that's good. It's very important for you to understand how the light is hitting your subject. If it, you want them, we want the light hitting them in 45 degrees, side lighted, or backlit. So it's important to understand and control your light. Number two, contrast. We're talking here about black and white. So we need our highlights and our shadows. So it's if if our light is just coming straight on, there's gonna be less contrast and it won't look good. So when you're shooting for black and white, you have to have contrast uh, from, with your highlights and then shadows. Okay, if you are able to control your light, put it side, not straight, you can bring out textures. All right, so textures on the face, the lines, especially for uh, older subjects, you, know, you want you want those lines to come out and show their character. Also, if you're wearing clothes with texture, your background has textures. If you light it properly, the, you can bring that texture out. Okay, so and then number three, um, keep your composition clean and simple all right so if you're starting out uh, with portrait photography i suggest you do uh, you don't make things too complicated i always tell people keep it simple all right so i i i prefer a cleaner background not so much don't put anything yet in front if you're starting out just focus on your subject as long as your foreground and background is clean. All right. And number five, uh, capture real emotion and expression. All right. Uh, this is where you need to practice your, uh, your rapport with your client or your subject. You, make, you have to make them comfortable as photographers. It is our job to make our subject feel comfortable to bring out that real expression that we want to capture. All right? So um, I did a quick shoot recently. Uh, didn't make it complicated because we don't want complicated. We just wanted to keep it simple. All right? So what I did, I was stuck at home. I, uh, I asked my son, to a pose for me. So what I did was uh, ask him to wear something nice. And all I used was the camera that I'm using as to record this. A simple black fabric. I used the matte side. There's the glossy side and there's the matte side. So I used the matte side as the background. So I had a black background and just used a nifty 50 lens 
uh, this is a 25 mm, this is a 50 mm equivalent lens. So here are my photos. So there you go. So number one, I understood where my light is coming from. So number one, control the light. Number two, contrast and texture. Number three, keep the composition clean and simple. And number four, capture real emotions and expression. Right? So hopefully you learn something from this quick, simple tips and hope it will encourage you to shoot more black and white portrait. If you enjoyed this episode, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and invite your friends. I will be posting more photography tips soon. Watch out for it and see you soon.